All right, time now for news from the left. First up, usually when you do something a lot, you get a lot better at it, right? But for Kamala Harris, as she pushes, what, 60 years old with her entire life in the public eye, somehow her speaking skills have just gotten tremendously worse. Take a listen to this. Which is why we will work together and continue to work together to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on. This is a matter of urgent priority for all of us, and I know we will work on this together. <laughs> She's got what the hell are you talking about? We will work together and continue to work together on these challenges, and we will also work together on these problems together. When we are working together on these challenges and problems and issues, uh, we are stronger when we work together, and we will continue to work together uh, in the future on any new challenges that arise over the horizon. But when we're together, we're working better together, as always, together. Kamala Harris. Just words, more words, words, words. Fill time, fill time. They have nothing to say. They can't do anything right. I guess what the hell would they talk about anyway? Next up, during an interview on Friday, Justice Clarence Thomas took a well-deserved shot at the American press. Enjoy. One of the things I say in response to the media is when they talk about, especially early on, about the way I did my job, I said, I will absolutely leave the court when I do my job as poorly as you do yours. <laughs> and that was meant as a compliment, really. <laughs> You hear him laughing, too. He loved it. What else is there to say? And he's right. And what are they going to say about it? Next up, from last week, a Wisconsin school district filed a Title IX sexual harassment complaint against three middle school students for using the wrong pronouns while addressing another student. We told you that story. Now a Virginia school district is considering suspensions for misgendering as well. Fairfax County School Board is set to vote on an updated version of their Students' Rights Handbook next week. The new version includes rules that make malicious deadnaming and malicious misgendering of classmates a level four offense, which allows for a suspension up to five days. The document defines deadnaming as when someone intentionally or not refers to a person who is transgender or gender expansive by a name other than their own chosen name. Name. So wait, intentional or not? So now, as if being in frickin' middle school wasn't bad enough, your kids are gonna have to tiptoe around the new age trans kids, now that it's the hot new thing, who enjoy changing their identity on a dime. And if you make any mistakes, they're gonna report them to the teacher. So you're gonna get to watch your kids tap dance around that issue as well. It was complicated enough when it was just girls and boys. Enjoy the party. Moving along, a pro-abortion activist says she believes you should be able to kill a baby at any time you want, even after they're born. Take a listen. Do you believe in abortion after birth? Would you, would you support that? I believe in whatever the woman wants to choose to do, that's her choice. Even after the baby's born? It's always her choice. So if they're two years old? It's always her choice. I can kill my two-year-old. It's a woman's right to choose. Two years old? What about 10? 20? What about this? Your mom walks up right now with a gun. Is it still her choice? Can you imagine? I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing to see. Next up, Chicago's mayor is preparing for an absolute bloodbath of a summer, which is basically a rite of passage for the summer season every year in Chicago. At least a couple hundred inner city kids have to die, or it's not a real summer. Lightfoot has been so trashed in the media for her typical liberal apathy toward crime and the misery and the plague that she and liberals have created in that city. Now she is actually trying to fix the problem. A 10 p.m. curfew on minors in Chicago this after a teenager was shot and killed over the weekend, which seems to happen all the time. We'll see how, the, how this plan affects the numbers. Memorial Day, of course, is coming soon, and then, of course, summer kicks off, and they get out of school, and then you have a lot of real problems. And finally, take a look at this ridiculous race-baiting tweet from sports news outlet Deadspin. White fans were entertained by black athletes a day after a racist killed black people in Buffalo. 
This is what white supremacy looks like. I don't know what Deadspin is exactly. I've seen it. I've seen their tweets. I don't know who runs the place. It's obviously a garbage dump of an organization. What they really should have said is mostly black multimillionaires playing their favorite game as less privileged people of all races watched and enjoyed with envy, wishing that they had been born a foot taller so they too could be insanely rich for playing a fun game. That probably would have been a little bit more accurate. Not that Deadspin is aiming for accuracy at all.